Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, be part of this journey with us, one big family. Thank you for your loving support, all your beautiful comments, your suggestions, your opinions. And I would like to invite you to come and join us, the beautiful queens in my private crochet group. You're more than welcome to come be a member as long as you have a profile. You could also follow me on my crochet page on Facebook, of course, we're talking about and Instagram or TikTok, or if you're stuck on a pattern, you could always message me faster, either through the page or my group or Instagram message or TikTok message, and I can help you out. If you haven't subscribed for the newcomers, I hope you do so. I hope you enjoy the channel and become a member uh, of the family with us. By hitting that subscription, you know everything is free. We work hard every day to put out these beautiful patterns for you guys. Uh, we don't ask of anything in return except thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Share if you can. Sharing is caring. And bring your friends and family along. Okay, so for most of the time, I use a four ply 100% cotton thread. These are Portugal threads. Uh, they're called Ladybug. They're 100 grams a ball. Uh, four ply, similar to Aunt Lydia, Aunt Lydia number three. Aunt Lydia number three is a little bit thicker, so obviously your patterns become bigger. The colors don't go by name here, they go by number. Let's say this canary yellow is number 15. This purple, because of course there's so many different purples, right? Number 38. So for the most part, I use a 2.75 hook, a small one to tuck in loose ends, of course, and a pair of scissors. People, please, I know sometimes I'm in my bubble and I'm a fast crocheter and I seem to forget that I am recording and some of you are way much slower than I am. And I sincerely apologize for that. I mean, I get beat up from that all the time, like in most of my videos, I believe. I try my best, and I'm still working very hard on it to slow down for you guys. For those reasons, I say, you know, you could always slow down the video. I know sometimes it, it's a little bit tricky, sometimes even slowing down. Some of you are a little bit slower. It's hard even slowing down for you guys, and I do apologize for that. Um... But what can I say? I do have this problem of fast crocheting. I think everything in my life is just fast. Everything runs fast. You know, I'm always on the go. But um, I, I am trying very hard to slow it down. I think I've improved quite a bit, or at least I'm trying my best. Uh, there's no need for um, really rude comments on that. Uh, whatever doesn't fit you, move on to the next one. Sometimes certain patterns are not made for us, including myself. You can't just, you know, beat up the creator, whoever she is or he is, just because it's not working out for you. There's much worse things in life than treating people rudely. Um, please, like, be kind. Um, People really work hard to get these things out there. And sometimes, you know, it, it, like I said, you know, we get on our bubbles, we make mistakes, we, we, we crochet fast, and some get bored because it's too slow. I mean, you know, it is what it is. Um, so I thank you for being patient with me on that. For those that, you know, most of you are patient with it, there's still a few here and there that are quite unpolite and very rude and very uh, demanding. And uh, very, uh, I need this and I want that instead of hello and excuse me and may I or can I please and thank you. I mean, politeness goes a long way. Uh, this type of education doesn't come from school. It comes from your crib. So uh, I owe you nothing or any other creator does not owe you anything. So don't demand and force things out of us because that's not happening. What is going to happen is for that type of rudeness, you will be definitely blocked from the channel. And that's what's going on at this point, blocking the rudeness out of my life and out of the channel and everybody else's uh, uh, life here as a member of the, the uh, channel, okay, or in the group same issue okay we have zero tolerance for that we're here as mothers of earth men are providers women are mothers 
they teach, they're patient, they're caring, they're loving. So please be kind. Kindness goes a long way, okay? We're going to get started, everybody. And thank you so much for your patience and for your loving support, like I've mentioned, and for your beautiful comments. Thank you. God bless you. Okay, everyone. So the first thing we're going to do is the magic circle. Now, for some of you that have still a hard time, you can do an eight chain. Of course, depending upon everybody's tension, remembering that if your stitch is too tight, use two hooks at least higher than your normal. If it's too loose, use at least two hooks uh, smaller than your normal. So I'm closing in this magic circle with a slip stitch, coming back in with a single and two chain. If you hear any music, my neighbors are always up in the air partying with their music. I mean, God bless them, you know, that's, I guess, how they enjoy life, by boosting the music on very loud, and I have no control of it. So YouTube, if you hear any music on the background, I am not responsible. It's not coming out of me. I've done 13 double crochets, okay? So I'm going to close with a slip stitch on my second chain from where I went up. Now, row two, I'm going to come back in. This is how I start my first type of crochet. And I stretch a bit my thread because I don't want a mark going on. So I stretch a bit. It's almost like doing two chains for that size and one chain. Sometimes I do two chains depending up on the pattern I'm working on. I'm coming back into the same one. And I'm doing another double crochet. So per each double crochet, we're doing an increase of two double crochet on each uh, stitch. One chain space between them. So my first double crochet and my second double crochet. So groups of two. I'm just using a canary yellow. But this would be perfect for you guys to create it. This is a round doily that I'm creating. Um, many years ago, I have done this doily, and I'm just recreating it again. Um, in red or green, you can alter it. It could be doilies to decorate or uh, placemats to decorate. Either uh, red or green for Christmas would be perfect. I'm just going to do it in this color because then it gives you a vision more of the stitch. Um, there's a little bit of detailing to it, so I don't want you to miss out on the details. For that reason, I'm using the yellow, or else I would have done it in red. Okay, so row two, two double crochet per stitch. You should have a total of 26 double crochets at the end, and these are groups of two. The increase will always be on the last double crochet, so let's say next row. We're doing one double crochet, two together on the second. One double crochet, two together on the second. One chain or two chain space, depend, depending up on your, on your tension. So you're supposed to have 13 groups of two double crochet on row two. Going into row three. So I'm stretching my, my uh, thread a bit. I'm coming back in the same stitch, or you can do just your regular three chain up if you want to. And one chain. Coming in my second double crochet, I'm going to do two double crochets in the same space. I'm sure a lot of you have seen me create a lot of patterns with this uh, stitch. One chain space so far. I don't need to do a two, but if you have to do a two chain space, go ahead. That's how the rules, or there's no rules, of the crochet world, depending upon your tension. If it's too tight, then do another extra chain. One chain, coming in my first double crochet, doing one double crochet on my second, doing two together on the same stitch. Now, I'm going to repeat this until I have nine rows. That means row uh, four, I'm going to do an increase at the last one. That means I'll have four double crochet. Row five, an increase. That means I'll have five double crochet. So I'm going to go all the way up to the ninth row. On my ninth row, I should have nine double crochets. And of course, most probably two chain space between them. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of row nine because now it's just a repeat, just an increase on the last double crochet. 
on my next row, I'm most probably going to do a two chain space and continue from there on. It depends upon you and your tension. Okay. Okay, everyone. So I've done my nine rows and nine double crochet on my ninth row, always an increase on the last one. Now this one here, I'm going to come back in and do a single. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Coming on my last one, single. Now, if you find that it's too tight for you, you can do an eight chain. One, two, and three chain coming on the first one here. So this row will be only about chains, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Coming in the last one, single. One, two, three, coming on the first one. So row 10 is all about chains and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so closing up row 10. One, two, three, I'm coming where I started that first single with a slip stitch. I'm actually going to close in the center here because I need to be on the center. So I'm going to do a sideways double crochet like that. I'm going to do one, two, chain, coming back in. So I'm going to build a shell of three double crochet inside of these three chain space, two chain, and three more double crochet. And so all of these three chain space where the space is here, that's where we're going to build shells. Two chain space. I'm going to come right on the center here of this seven chain and do a double crochet. Two chain. Again, coming in that three chain space and building my shell of three double crochet, two chain, and three more double crochet here. So row 11 is about doing shell, two chain, double crochet, two chain, shell. I'll meet you at the end, okay? Okay, everyone, so I finished row 11, going into row 12. So where we have the shell, we're going to continue to do shell. So I'm going to do the walk with a lip, uh, with a slip stitch. I was going to say lipstick. Oh, my goodness. I think I need an express. So single, two chain, and again. Three double crochet, two chain, and three double crochet. So my single, my two chain, represents double crochet. So I'm going to use my two, just a three chain going up. One chain space. I'm coming in the center of this two chain, and I'm going to create two double crochet. Now, I did one chain, but if your tension is too loose, you can just go directly. You don't have to do a one chain. And two on the other side. So we'll have a total of five double crochets, two in the center, one on top, and two here. One chain. Going in, creating my shell again. So it's just a repeat the same way all the way around. Okay, so shell, one chain, two double crochet in the center, one on top of the double crochet, two double crochet, one chain, and shell. This is row 12. 
12, right? 9, 10, 11, 12, row 12, okay? Okay, everyone, I'm going to row 13. So I've closed in with slip stitch on the first one. I've done a single and two chain. That's my first double crochet. So we're having an increase on the shell. We're doing one per stitch. So you have your three from the shell. You do three and three more inside of the chain space here. Two and three. Two chain. Coming in, three more. Double crochet inside of the two chain space. So we'll have a total of six on each side. Two and three. So we have two, four, and six. Chain two. If your tension is too loose, then do chain one only. And doing double crochet right on the center here. Chain two. And repeat again the shell of six double crochets. One per stitch and three double crochets in the center. One. Two and three. Chain two. One. Two. And three. And one per stitch. We're going to repeat this all the way around the same way. So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, going into row 14. So I'm going to do three double crochets here at the beginning, one per stitch. So my single, my two chain is my first double crochet. My second and my third, one chain. I'm coming in the center of the two chain and doing a shell of three, double crochet, two chain, and three more, double crochet. One chain, and I'm coming in, so I'm skipping these three, I'm coming in. The fourth one, one, two, and three. Okay. One chain coming directly in again and repeating the same thing as we just did. Three double crochet, one chain into the center, creating the shell of three double crochet, two chain. Three more, double crochet, one chain, and into the fourth double crochet, creating the last three double crochet. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So pretty much finished row, I believe, 14. Going into row 15. So I'm going to come in the same one, single, two chain. That's my first double crochet. I will complete this one, obviously, once I come around. On this row, we'll have six double crochet, no chain space. Here I'm going to do a two chain space, coming in, doing my shell. Three, double crochet, two chain, and three more double crochet. Two chain, 
coming in that double crochet with double crochet next one so we'll have a total of six here now no chain space going directly two chain and continue again with your shell We're going to repeat this all the way around the same way. So obviously when I come around, I'll complete the other three here with no chain space. Exactly like here. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. Going into row 16. So I'm going to come in and do my single, my two chain. Of course, after I've done slip stitch. And I'm going to do one more double crochet. Here we're going to have only four double crochets. We're skipping the first and we're skipping the last. I will complete it once I come around. Two chain. I'm coming into the first double crochet and creating double crochet. So there's an increase on my shell here. We'll have five double crochets. Three per stitch and two inside of the chain stitch. Okay. Chain two and again two double crochet one per stitch total of five double crochets all together on each side okay two four and five chain two skip the first double crochet come in your second so we're not working the first and we're not working the last you should have a total of four double crochet and then again continue do your two chains and repeat the shell exactly how we did. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, we're going to row 17. Now we have to do the walk, and I call it the walk, slip stitch to the shell over here. So I'm going in on each stitch, I'm not tightening because we don't want the pattern to pull. And I'm coming in the first double crochet with a single and two chains. So that's my first double crochet. I'm going to do three double crochets, one per stitch, one chain. If it's too tight for you, you can do a two chain. And I'm going to do a shell of three double crochets in here. Okay, two chain and three more double crochets. one chain and I'm coming in the third one creating three double crochets here one per stitch okay now one two three four five chain coming in and and repeating again those three double crochets exactly how we did here so Basically, that's all there is all the way around the same way. The three double crochets, one chain, shell, one chain, three double crochet, five chain. Of course, you know if your tension is too tight, you can do a six chain. If it's too loose, then cut down a chain. Okay, so we're going to repeat this all the way around the same way. And I'll meet you at the end okay okay everyone pretty much finished row 17 going to row 18 the next few rows will be a repeat of the same thing so basically we're doing double crochet over double crochet so i'm going to come in again on the same one i closed in with slip stitch single two chain and continue to do the three double crochets. The next few rows will be like this, okay? Chain two, coming in my shell, 
and doing my show. Chain two and doing my three double crochets again. The only difference we're going to have here is we're going to start to decrease on the chains. So I have done a five chain. One, two, three, four. Coming in, doing my three double crochet. That's the only difference that we have on this row. Actually, on the next few rows, will be only decreasing so the next row will be a three chain instead of four so it's just a repeat of what we're doing now and the row after that will be a two chain well so we have five four and then three and then two so it's just a repeat of what we're doing for the next two rows we're just decreasing on the chain Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. It's just a decrease. Okay, everyone, going into row 19. Yes, row 19. So I've closed in with slip stitch. Again, I did my three double crochets, and we're going to do it here also. So on this one, we have five chain, four chain. Now we're going to do a three chain. One, two, three, and I'm doing a three because I don't want to tighten up. But if you have a loose tension, you can do a two chain only, okay? So we're going to create the shell here again of three double crochets. Two chain and three more double crochet. One, two, three. And repeat again the three double crochet. Next row will be the same thing. It's just a repeat. Next row will have a two chain. One, two, three. And one, two, and three. Okay, so next row is just a repeat. I'm going to still try to do the three chain. Hopefully I can without going into four chain. But if it's pulling, I will do my four chain here. And here we're going to have the two chains. So we need to close this together. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, going into row 20. And we do have to keep increasing on here. One, two, three, four chain. Because we are decreasing here and so the pattern won't pull. So doing your shell. Three double crochet, two chain, and three double crochet. Chain four. And three double crochet. One, two chain this time. And the next row also will be a two chain. I thought I was going to close this together, but I'm not. Couldn't remember it exactly. It's been a long time ago. One, two, three, four. And proceed again with your shell of three double crochet, two chain. Three 
Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so finish row 20, going into row 21. One, two, three, four, five chain. Doing my shell. So very simple. Just doing the increase on the shells here on the motive. One, two, three. Four, five. Creating our three double crochets. I'm going to try one chain space at least instead of two. And creating the three double crochets again. And so we're going to repeat again, chain five, shell, chain five, the three, and one double crochet, uh, one chain space between the motives. Okay, everyone. So I finished row 21, and I had to change color because I wouldn't have enough of this canary yellow, so I decided to go with the mixed to finish off. We have the last row to do. Now, this is optional for you. You can do singles or you can do chain and create again, three double crochet, one chain, three double crochet, and create your chains and do your shell, or you can do just singles all the way through. It's up to you, or I'm giving you the option. There's just different options to this. Now, I'm gonna close this in here with a half double crochet so I'm right at the center I'm going to come back in again and I'm going to do a single one two three four five six this is the last row I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do a double crochet one two three four chain and peacock because I wanted to spike up a little bit more so I'm not doing the three chain peacock okay one two three four now um i'm planning to create uh 3d flowers with the same pattern with this pattern so you might want to stay tuned for the next style that i'm doing with this exact pattern so I'm coming inside of the two chain space doing my double crochet one, two, three, four. Of course, this is, a, you know, its own pattern as is. One, two, three, four. So I did two double crochets in the center. Okay. And then one per stitch. But you can just do uh, singles if you like. It's up to you. I mean, there's so many ways to close out, right? Whatever you prefer. I'm just giving you the options here. One, two, three, four. Of course, right after this tutorial, I'm taking this edge down because I'm going to continue uh, with something else. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, Peacots and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six chain, and I'm coming in the center with single. One, two, three, four, five, six chain, and again, you would do your double crochets and one, two, three, four. I think it looks pretty lovely like this, but. Like I said, you know, it's optional for you, okay? So I'm going to complete this just for the purpose of the tutorial and to take uh, pictures and the little video. But I am going to take it down the last row here. And I'm going to continue with probably singles all the way around so I can come in and do my 3D flowers around it 
Okay, so thank you so much, everybody. I will see you in the next tutorial. I hope you subscribed and hit that bell notification to be notified of the new uploads and give a thumbs up to the video. Thank you so much, everybody. Until next time. Bye-bye.